Hi everybody, Ravensky23 here. Um, uh, just coming back from uh, a vlogless week. I, uh, Rafe, or, Rafe and I went down, as you know from my last video, we went down to West Virginia, to Shepherdstown, West Virginia, which is right over the border from Maryland and Pennsylvania, and uh, right on the Potomac River. So I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. But first of all, I want to say a little bit of a shout out to some people that need our, our prayers and uh, west, best wishes. One of them uh, I just heard about this morning because I just opened my email this morning and read it. Um, Lady PN, Pam, um, had, was in a car accident, only she wasn't in the car, she was walking, I guess. And uh, she's okay, but probably pretty banged up, bruised up, sore. I don't know if she broke anything, I haven't heard any of that. but. Um, Melody, thank you for putting up the video and letting us know that. Sorry I didn't listen to it sooner. Um, but I'm sending a lot of well wishes and hugs her way. Very gentle hugs so I don't hurt you if you're sore. Um, also then, Corey, Georgia Boy 66, Tube Skanky, Tube Granny, your mama. Um, just want to send big love to you. I, you know, back injuries are terrible and he suffered uh, very mightily with his back. And let's hope that you know, pray that the doctors will have the wisdom to figure something out for him so that uh, he's not in so much pain. Uh, and thirdly, um, just a big hug and shout out to J.R. Snyder Jr. because he's had some medical issues as well and uh, wasn't with us for a while. And thank you for letting us know, by the way, that you weren't. Um, going to be there that you were going to have some medical problems and that's that brings up something I want to talk about too is the way people leave YouTube um, it just it just isn't right if you have subscribers and people that you communicate with on a regular basis and you just decide you know oh nobody cares and you're gonna go somewhere else and do something else with your life I think the very least you should make a quick video and explain that and then leave your channel up for a little while let people adjust to that fact um, and say their goodbyes. It's it's a very human and humane thing to do. Now, if you're just going to flip around channels and delete your channel and open up another channel somewhere and just change identities, you know, that's if that's your thing that floats your boat, go for it. But um, don't mess with people. You know, it's 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 cruel. Um, the basic thing, if you remember. <laughs> I'm sorry to take it back to the basics, but if you remember the golden rule and you treat other people the way that you want other people to treat you, life is going to be so much better. And uh, I really would like people to take that to heart. And uh, it's a pretty simple truth. And just enough said on that. Um, meanwhile, uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, so back to our trip. I just want to say that we had a great time. I took a ton of videos. I don't know, 160, 180, something like that. And that sounds like ridiculous, but what I was doing like um, was just taking little snippets. Uh, the, the editing software I have with my camera sucks big time. And um, my camera, uh, I think it's MPEG-4. Uh, saves them as MPEGs anyway and uh, Movie Maker won't open them so I've got to convert them before Movie Maker opens them and Movie Maker isn't the, you know that fantastic anyway so anybody that has any input on uh, I think we're gonna get Vegas which a lot of people use um, I think I've got you know Rafe Scott is eye on a version of that so we'll see, because um, right now the way I do it sucks just as bad as when I had a crap computer and I got a fast computer now, but it's even worse because I can't like separate the audio and from the video and edit. And... Anyway, that being said, um, so I'm going to be editing these, these videos, but it's kind of a Herculean task with everything that I have um, ahead of me. But... The first one coming up is probably going to be a tour of the lodge, which is really the last video that I took the last day um, because we were so busy. 
doing all the classes and things. But the last day before we left, I took, shot a bunch of footage. So I'm going to edit that together and show you how cool this place is that we were at. Plus, one of the coolest things when we were there, this is awesome. And I'm going to put the link of this over here so you guys can go and check out the 24-7 24, 24 live video cam of this. When we first got there and we walked in, by the registration desk and the Timber Framers Guild registration desk, there was a camera sitting there, or a camera. Well, okay, back up. First of all, when we first pulled in, we were going up the big long drive, I looked over to where the barn is, the first barn we were supposed to go to on our tour, and there was this big white barn, which I'll show you pictures of, and in this tree, uh, this big sycamore tree, you can tell it was a sycamore because the bark, I just love the way they look in the winter. But you can, this huge, tall sycamore tree, it looked like there was a Buick. It, seriously, it looked like there was a big car parked up there. And then next, I'm kind of focusing on it, and I'm thinking, okay, it's some kid's fort. And I'm like, that's like 100 feet in the air. That cannot be a kid's fort. And I'm like, so we get closer, I'm like, holy crap, it's a nest. You know, what kind of bird is in that nest? You know, I was just couldn't believe anything that big. So we get in. And the first thing that I see is this closed circuit TV, and they have bald eagles nesting in this tree out there. So come to find out, we couldn't tour that barn because the tree's right next to the barn, and apparently eagles, if you disturb their nest, you're going to, uh, they, they have a possibility that they'll leave and abandon the nest, and they didn't want to even approach that because they had laid three eggs, and she was sitting on three eggs. And lo and behold, three, uh, three or four hours before we got there on uh, last Thursday, one of the eggs had hatched. So there was already one, one tiny little, well, tiny, you know, baby that the mother eagle was taking care of. So it was so cool because apparently what they did is these eagles have been there, I think, since 2004, 2005. And they keep coming back to the same nest. Eagles do that. They built this gigantic nest, and they fix it up every year. And then they lay eggs. And they've uh, one year a couple of their eggs. It was too cold, and I think they, they didn't. They weren't viable. Last year I think they had two chicks, but I think this is the first year they've had the camera 24/7. And what they had to do is like last September they had a um, fire truck with a big bucket truck come up there and could lift them up. I think 75 feet in the air to where the nest was. And then a guy. <laughs> dig this guy had to get out of the bucket that high in the air climb up another 10 feet to mount this camera on the tree there's no way in hell I would do that I'm just I'm not a height person anyway to do that and there's just no way so the wind blowing in the tree that just that's frightening so anyway this guy put the camera up there and it's the type of camera it does show at night too um it, it's just very cool so we it also was closed circuit. We could watch it in our room, which was awesome. So um, we did that, and the next day the other egg hatched, and then the third egg was laid four days after that, so it, we knew it wasn't going to hatch while we were there. And sure enough, on St. Patrick's Day, the third egg hatched. And this little guy is several days younger than... Um, the siblings, so I was afraid they were going to like peck him or he was going to not get uh, as much food. So, But that hasn't happened, so that's very cool. So the little guy's thriving fine. He's a real, real survivor, and uh, the mother is just an awesome mother, the mother eagle. She's feeding them all, and I didn't know what they ate. I thought that they, like, regurgitated, you know, their food like most birds do. They eat, and then they regurgitate it back up into the baby's mouth. But she doesn't appear to do that. She appears to. They eat a lot of fish, and we're right on the Potomac River. So... Uh, she pecks at the fish and she eats some and then she takes a piece and she sticks it in the baby's mouth just like that so and they're getting really big i mean they were tiny but now the two of them at least are getting pretty big the other one's coming along <clears throat> so i'm going to put the link over here and it's it requires you to have i think real audio i think it's a real audio file uh if you have that plug in on your browser which most people do and uh, it'll pop up you can make the window bigger as big as your your computer will handle and uh, they seem to be active well, it's throughout the day, but when I get up at 6, 30, 7 in the morning, there she's always feeding them then. <clears throat> I watch them at night, and it's pretty boring because it's just her with her head underneath her wing sitting on top of them. So, uh, but they, I think about six weeks, they start flying. So, um, be cool to check in on them every now and then if any of you are interested. I think it's just phenomenal. Uh, and when the sun's shining there, you can see kind of, I mean, it's a bird, it's a huh, bird's eye view. No, it's like a fisheye thing where you can see part of the barn building down here around it and everything, but very cool. So we were excited about that. Uh, anyway, a couple other things just were 
that it was so warm that we, we could just wear t-shirts a couple of the days. We didn't get rained out. It did rain, um, but not the day we were touring the barns. And um, what else? I don't know. Pretty uneventful trip up and back. It was about six and a half hours. And we didn't get a chance to meet any other YouTubers. Even, uh, it was short notice that we'd put the video up. But we, we didn't get any meetups, so there's no footage of us meeting anybody. But hopefully that'll change this summer when we have a couple of the uh, um, YouTube events that we're going to in Boston and Philadelphia. Um, anyway, that's about it. Hope everything's good in your world. And a happy Easter, happy spring, uh, happy warmer weather please we need it um uh that's it so i will talk to you guys later be looking for more footage coming at you uh as soon as i get it together so talk to you guys later bye